Ooh. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a new stone talus. South of the Shivanir Shrine on the, uh, I guess it's not quite foothills, but on the, the dress of the mountain. I'm pretty sure this is a new stone talus, which means we need to defeat it. Now then, it's time for me to make the donuts. Stone Talus Jr.? That's an, a... That's a completely new variant of Stone Talus. And it's dead. <laughs> we killed the Talus Young. Soon our purge shall be complete. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And also, welcome back to Pal Plays. It has been quite some time since I've been able to do anything on the channel. And this time, one of the few times, an, a, a hiatus, was not due to me being sick. I mean, I was sick over the hiatus, but that's not why the hiatus existed. Uh, I, I caught a nasty, nasty bout of sunstroke, and also I let some uh, injuries get infected, which ca uh, caused me to fall under the weather. Uh, it's been a wild ride. I ha I went to a my church's camp, my church's youth camp. I was able to tag along, spend the week there, uh, filming the event, and then the entire time up leading up to now, I've been editing it, and my boat or broke. I have two. <laughs> I have been editing it, and the video turned out very well. But I'm finally, ex I'm excited to finally get back to the Breath of the Wild and commentating in general. I was noticing in normal conversations, I my s habit of stuttering got picked back up. And that's something that I thought was gone, but apparently it's just a treatment. The, uh, the channel is a treatment that wards it away. So this episode, we are going to be going to here. I believe we ended the last episode. It's very hard to remember. It was a long time ago. We ended the last episode here. There was a giant stone talus, which for the most part I am going to be talking over because I uh, I have come to a bit of a, a paradigm shift. Oh, this thing's huge. Oh, this thing's huge. Oh. Okay, stasis you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to be talking over this. For the most part, because I want to talk about the end game of Breath of the Wild. The end game of how I'm finishing, how I'm planning on finishing the series, and also the fact that I really need to. I fell through it! Whoa! Okay then! Okay then! I see how this is going to work. And also the fact that I just need to finish the series. This. This Let's Play has is extremely long, both in episode count and just in time taken. And so, uh, starting this episode, or in between episodes? In between episodes. I was able to get, uh, 30, uh, I did it again. 33 Korok Seeds, or is it 32? I'm up to over 770 Korok Seeds, and I am ready. Ah! Fly, fly, fly! Pull out the chute! Pull out the chute! I'm going to heal real quick. Uh, I'll just eat that. Let's ice arrow him. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Because I'm trying to finish the series now. I, I really need to finish it. It's, it's way too long. That doesn't work. Bomb arrows don't work. My great memory is great. It's just time. It's just time. I, I want to move on to uh, other things. And in fact, I'm so excited to move over things. Just the other day, I was just I was thinking about uh, a game that I've always wanted to play on the channel, and I thought, you know what? Even though I had things relatively planned out, I'm just gonna do that after uh ap after Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Uh, let's shoot at our feet here. Pull out the shoot! Oh, that was so close! Oh, I suddenly turned into a operatic singer whenever something close happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it was just a childhood game that I, I've w been wanting to play, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it. And so after uh, after Breath of the Wild is done, I need stamina. My, my plan is to just play a couple of short games, just so we don't get it beholden into a long series again. Because this has been... This is, uh, 
wetted my whistle for long series, and I can see myself not getting into such a, a terribly long experience for quite some time. Well, we got the Candelabra of Death Shrine with some pretty close calls, actually. That Talus is... You're not really intended to fight a Talus that big, and so certain things like falling through it... Also, you're not intended to fall, uh, fight them in lava. Fighting them in lava means that sometimes you just fall through it and then you go into the lava. But at least it remembers the damage you dealt to it. That's convenient. You know, I haven't actually looked at this... I haven't seen this cutscene in a while. I kind of want to see it. Because Breath of the Wild is a, kind of new to me again. Excuse me. It's a bit new to me again. And so it's exciting to get back into it, but also a little bit scary. Because I'm, I'm fearing how on earth I'm going to be fighting Lynels again. I, I was shield bashing a guardian earlier, so that timing has not left me. It was a little bit difficult on the first couple of, of shots, but I did do it on the first try, then I got hit a couple of times. Okay, so this switch does that. Alright. So we can just place a bomb inside. And hit this, and while it's pivoting, we blow it up. How fine a trigger is that? Oh, that's right on. Oh, that's, that's neat. That's neat. Will this thing fill back up? Yes, it will. Okay, so... Judging by the fact that the wall lowered, like the physical wall lowered... Uh, that was not a close call at all. I'm wondering if we need to get this now instead of later? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. We can't use our blessings in here. Uh, okay, I cannot get this now. I don't think you can use amiibo. Yeah, so there's probably some way I could jank it out. There's there's certainly a way I could I could jank that out with with some sort of knockback exploit, but no, nah, I'm I'm just going to do it like this. I I'm still I feel like I'm new to the game again, and so I'm going to be doing things the the not coherent. The traditional way? Yeah, the traditional way. Oh, I need to... Oh, I see. I'm just gonna... Oh, if I just keep hitting this, it'll keep going. And... That was kind of close. That was not close. Alright, this time I'm going to time this. Boosh. Bam. That was... Oh! That connected. Not what I ex had expected. But I'll take it. And that's still... Oh, I see what we need to... Oh, I see what we need to do. Oh. Okay. We need to hit this. And then... That's a miss. Uh, hmm, I don't want to hit... I don't want to hit that platform with the ball. But that looks like the angle we're shooting at. Line it up. Nice. Is that what we want to do? Oh! Oh! I put two and two together. We don't need to get in there. It just needs to be there. And then we can magnesis it, magnesis it out. I was confused because that bowl thing looks like a bowl. It looks like that's where the ball should go, but no, 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 no. Okay, I'm now I'm up to speed. Diamond, that's a good reward. How many of those? We have four diamonds, so I I definitely needed some diamonds in my in my arsenal. And now I wonder what would have happened if we had jumped in there ourselves. If we could have ridden the ball. But no, I'm not going to try that. I, I want to make some progress this episode. Mainly because I want to finish the series. There's... Oh, there's another thing over here. Two secrets in one? Is that normal? Uh, what does this apparatus do? Oh. Oh. That's... That's kind of awkward. So, what do we, what is the accomplishment here? 
This thing is just such an odd shape. I'm just not sure how what to feel about it, how to feel about it. Just try that. I don't know. I don't think it'll work, but I I'm not sure what to think about this one. Uh, this is gonna miss. Oh yeah, that missed. Let's just try that. I guess that I'm a little bit confused as to what the apparatus part of this is for. It feels like this. Yeah. Oh, wait. All right. So the the target hasn't changed. We just need to do Oh, I see I see. I think Maybe? Is that what we want? That... That does present us with a hole. A gap. Uh, no, not quite. That doesn't look... Uh, that looks okay. Maybe. Let's try that. That, no way this is gonna work. Yeah, nope. Oh, that... That looks like it'll work. That, that'll work. Yes! That was a bit awkward. It felt... It felt like I was trying to put a square peg in a round hole. With how awkward this size is, it feels like that it's meaningful, but in fact it's not. It's just a bit clunky. But we did it. I mean, what puzzle isn't a bit clunky? What riddle isn't a bit clunky? Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. Also, that was mandatory. I I was under the impression that the shrine dude was open, was was ready to see us, but no, nah, he was not. He was not ready to see us, and so that was completely mandatory. The diamond was optional. X champion Druk song updated. Now, I think here, here's here's my idea. I think we can go to the next the the final shrine of of this challenge. We can discover it and we can conquer it because then we can go next episode. We can beat the boss again, and then we can go do some side quests. I, I think that's well-paced. I think that's interesting and d d d dynamic. <laughs> Just throw that random word, that buzzword in there, when I don't know what to say. I think that's dynamic, right? And I, I know where the final thing is. Even without looking at the map, I had to fly over. I had to warp here and then fly over to the, uh, the stone talus. And when I warped here, I saw those rings. So that's what we need to do. We need to fly to those rings, and otherwise, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I will talk a little bit more about the next series to come. Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland is still planned. I, I may have scheduled that, or I may have. Uh, oh, we need, we need this. I, I may have talked about that a bit early, or maybe I just uh, overestimated the speed at which Ryan does art, but. Ryan is, is doing the art, and that's all the series is waiting on. Everything else... Oh, that was cool. Everything else in the series is completely done. Oh, where are we going? We're going down here? Okay, I am guess we're going down here. Everything else is completely done and and waiting for art. I mean, the series needs one more recording session, but I think there's there are like 20 episodes already recorded. And, and then after that, uh, we're going to be getting into a childhood game of mine. The one that I said that I, I just wanted to record. Um... And that one, I won't spoil what it is. I will say, I'll say it's a platformer. I'll, I'll do, I'll say that much. It is a platformer. I played it alongside Pikmin 3 uh, as my childhood, or Pikmin 2 <laughs> in my childhood. I'm not that young. And and then after that, we're going to be getting into the a game that I've been anticipating for two years now, I would say. I've never played it, never played it, and... What hint do I want to give? You know, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna code name it. I think that works. Uh, let's go into Lund, uh, Cheryl Lund Shrine first. 
I have a I have a good name for it. I'm gonna codename this uh, that game Aliens. That hopefully that doesn't give too much away. Blind spots, huh? Uh. So one of the viewers has been heckling me in in the time I've been gone for not fully utilizing my flame breaker armor, saying that I have this. It's fireproof, and I should just stop being a wimp and just tank the fire. So I'm going to take his vi advice. Watch this being the one time. But yeah, I'm going to code that in the game Aliens. I think that makes... Or Alien, either one. It doesn't matter. I mean, people are immediately going to think of the movies. Oh, I thought there was going to be like a push hitbox there, but... No! You know what? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to tank all the fire! These blocks are being like... Smelted. <laughs> But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, aliens. People are gonna immediately think, like, alien isolation. I'll say that is a good guess, but that's not what it is. Uh, I am... I'm not a gigantic fan of ho the horror genre. Specifically... I should probably get off. Specifically, the alien movies in particular. I, I've watched... Uh, goodness, I've watched one... Alien, Aliens, uh, I think... What is it? Alien 3... And then, uh, Alien Resurrection. And I have some mixed feelings about those. They're not... They're not my favorites. Um, especially 1, 2, and 3. Do I wanna... Oh. Hi. Ah. Uh, die? Okay. Hi. Sup? I don't know. It's just... It's not that... It's not that I don't like... It's not the horror movie aspect of it. Oh, good. Ah! No! It's not the horror movie aspect to it at all. That that really isn't it. I think it's because, and it took me maybe two or three watches of each film to finally understand this. I think it's because I just don't like, I don't like how, okay, will this block it? Yes, it will. Okay, jump down. Climb along the side. I don't like how in the beginning of the movie, things are more... It's it just it's just depressing. Even in the very beginning of the movie, before the death-bringing aliens show up, they're, they're kind of miserable. And the aesthetic is not a good one. So it's not like things are getting necessarily worse when the alien shows up. I mean, sure, certainly their lives are in, gen in jeopardy, but these are essentially... Oh. Uh, essentially space truckers. And... These space truckers have left their family. They're never going to see them again because of how time travel works in, in the universe. They're never going to see them again. And they're with a bunch of strangers, and they don't like any of them. They're all jerks. And... And the only thing that the alien is doing is putting their lives at risk, like their actual lives, even though the quality of their lives is terrible. I get it. Come on. Where is it? Man. Uh, let's try this. And then, we'll wait for it. It's just gray and dingy. I mean, there are certainly good movies from a... From a movie standpoint. But I, I'm just not a big fan of them. Maybe I can open them on the way down. Ha! Sure. Link's... Ooh. Link's expert reaction time is able to catch those. There wasn't anything else. Didn't appear to be. Okay, well, my fl <laughs> How would I have gotten through that? If I didn't have the flame breaker armor? How would I have gotten through it? I have no idea. Uh, thank you, commenter, for... Uh, where are we going? Um. 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 Um, um, oh, 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 I realized that just in the nick of time. I, I didn't quite see the water. It just, it, it blended in. Man, this, Cryonis is my, is not my least favorite rune, but it's certainly, I think, the one of the most worthless of, of all of them. Like, there aren't that many uses for Cryonis. But this one, being able to climb waterfalls, is definitely the coolest. It is by far the coolest use of Cryonis. And I, I am happy that they 
they let me utilize it in that way. We got, yeah, we got the chest, had the flame blade, and that's it? I think that's it. Oh. Well, that, that's sad. Th this shrine was cool. It was hectic. You really had to think on your toes. I like those shrines where you don't have a bunch of time to solve a puzzle. You're not just wandering around and then maybe getting hit by the first hazard and then adapting to it. You either adapt or you go back to the beginning. I like those. How did I even get started on the topic of a the alien movies? How? What segued? Oh, oh, that's what I used. Uh, yeah, I, I, I codenamed the, the game that I'm playing. Aliens. You guys might guess it on the spot. I don't know. Maybe that's too too big of an obvious hint, but considering it segued me into a unique topic, uh, I guess I won't edit it out. And if you guess it, whatever, whatever. It's so far down the line that you'll probably forget. And if you guess it correctly, I, I don't even know if we'll confirm it or deny it, but I will confirm that this is the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. It feels good to be back. It really does. And this is my strategy going forward because we need to we need to finish this game. Every single episode, every end slate of every single episode, I will get 30 Korok seeds. This this episode was special because I got 32, but I will be trying to get 30 Korok seeds and you can see that I've been marking them along the way. So, most of my 30 are already accounted for. I just have to go get them. So that ne this next episode, finishing the Elden region, I will have uh, 800, exactly 800. And then every subsequent episode after that, I'm going to be getting 33 until the final increment where I will get 34. And that's my plan. That will be my, my five-step process to beating the Korok Seed aspect of the game. Is that five? Uh, no, that's four. That's four episodes. Within four episodes, we will be done. No matter what the episode is, we will be done with Korok Seeds in four episodes, which I think is going to be a huge load off my mind. Honestly, uh, I don't expect there to be any reward. No sure you tell me if there is going to be one. But it's a street cred thing. It's an accomplishment. And I want to beat this game 100% so that I can brag that I did. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity and would like to see my channel grow bigger, then share it with a friend. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time for a Monday or Wednesday where we go fight Fire Blight? Fire Blight. We go fight Fire Blight once and twice more times because there's extra dialogue. And then we'll go talk to the people in Goron City read some diaries, go to the southern, southern mine, and clear this place out. See you guys then, I guess? It's been a long time since I've done outros. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>
Good <laughs> 